Okay, I'm gonna do a little water hunt along this dock. Really, uh, the water completely disappears around this dock later in the year, early spring, but I don't know. I just wanna make sure I see if there's any fresh drops before anybody else gets to them. And I did find the gold drain down on that edge last episode, so hey, you never know. All right, see so we can get. Looks like I got my first signal right here. Probably just a zinc penny. No, not a zinc penny. Look at that. Very first thing. Look at that. Money. I guess that's probably a pendant, huh? I think it's gonna be trash, but that's pretty cool. Not a bad first target. Yeah, I like to see what people lost down here in the swimming hole. Yeah, every year. It's kind of a tourist area, so you never know what you're gonna get. Alright. my second time it's giving me a 30 so it's probably probably a quarter here we go yep, there we go quota oh we're doing pretty good on quarters looks like i think i got a dime and stuff i didn't show you let's keep going all right, I don't know how much more clad I'm gonna show you. If I uh, get something cool, and I will film some more. There's a quota. So that's ringing anywhere from like a 25 to a 30, but it's ringing 27, 28 a lot. That could be like or something. Let's see if I got it in there. Yeah, that's in there. Just a penny. All right. Well, until already, that's gonna be a blinger, but uh, boom, look at that. Moon ring. Pretty cool. I actually thought I was digging a penny. Not bad. Alright, so I do have something kind of cool here. This is not the first of these I found. Uh, earlier this year I found one of these. This is a G-Man ring. It's uh, not complete. This was coming up like a 6-7. Yeah, so this is like a 1930s ring. And they used to come in like cereal boxes, Cracker Jack. And it was uh, basically the G-Men for the FBI going after like Dillinger and those guys. So the G-Men was like them trying to get little kids to pretend they're FBI agents. Anyways. That's a pretty cool old relic right there. All right, there's no shortage of junk jewelry. There's a moon pendant right there. Gotta be something good here some, sometime. <laughs> Look at that, I got me another blinger. Boom. I was thinking maybe that could be a silver ring because it was ringing up weird. It was like 22, 23. You get a lot of things hitting like that on the Equinox. So, all right, let's see what else we can get. Well, I don't know what to make of that. It's like a big old iron ball. Crazy. Look how lucky that was. Got a teeny little stud out of there. Just 
barely stayed in my scoop. So, yeah, that's a junker. That's a pretty good grab out here with the scoop. My scoop's got big holes, too. Okay, we got a 12. Got a lot of big rat. That could be something good. Guess I wasn't aggressive enough with that scoop. Sounds like it's pretty close to the top. Very solid 12. So. It could be like a pull tab. But I'd say most likely nickel. Yeah. Maybe that's just something really big. Dude. Okay. Let's see it right off. Yep, it's in there. Still good. Oh. There it is. There's a, there's a really deep nickel. Okay. See what else we can do. So I mean, it looks like a little Pandora bead or something. Yeah, some of these are actually that inner casing silver. I don't think this one is though. It's coming up a three. All right, let's keep going. And look at that! I got another one. I don't know if those are lead or iron. Let's test them later. Crazy. Look at that, I got me a car. Boom. <laughs> Doing a different beach today. This one's a little frozen. Uh, it's still early though, sun will come out probably and help me out, but uh, I don't know, I'm still getting to the targets, it's just taking a little more effort. Probably, uh, already pulled like 10 beaver tails and pull tabs just got my first penny so we'll see what we can get okay it's got me a nickel i felt like when i dug it though i was like that's gotta be a bottle cap so you never know all right got my first quarter things are looking up okay so the bank is just just too much work too frozen I did dig a ton of targets though, um, mostly clad and uh, pull tabs, a little bit of foil. So I'm gonna go out in the water where it's a little easier digging and you know, hopefully somebody lost some jewelry out here. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, okay, I think I did it. There to go, I saw it. Right there. All right. Away from the wind here a little. Look at that. Sterling for sure. And this actually looks, looks like it's got some age to it. Definitely has writing. Yep, says sterling, so. Also, usually when they say sterling, they're a lot older. Yeah, that's a nice old ring. I don't know what that gem is in there. Oh gosh, you know what? That looks like a piece of amber. Okay, so my battery died. So I had to go change it, but now I'm talking out loud here because I have no idea what this is. But I feel like this is either like some sort of fossil 
inside amber or something. But you know what I'm wondering? Is this like a wedding ring and that's the partner's blood in glass? That's actually what I'm kind of thinking. Which is weird because, you know, I've never really seen or heard of that. So maybe I'm just making something up here. But uh, you tell me what you think it is. I have no clue. I don't know what it is. I guess I'm just king of the steel balls. Look at that. Another one. Okay, this is basically like a two-day wrap-up. But, you know, because these after-work hunts are so short, I'm usually going to probably have to put two together for a while. So, there's what I'm throwing away. Got a nice little brass pile this time. There's my aluminum. Look at all those potential gold rings. <laughs> Didn't happen. Not much lead this time. That's kind of a weird piece of lead, though. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with these steel balls. So, these two are from the same place. This is from a totally different place. I did okay on clad. Never a shortage of pennies. Got a little car. This is something I didn't get on video. This is actually like a lead button. So, that's kind of cool. And on to the junk jewelry. So I got a Murano bead or Pandora bead, whatever it is. Oh, I'm missing something. Okay, so the G-Man ring is missing from this pile. Not really sure where that went. But... <clears throat> it basically looked like this, only not as nice. This is the real mystery. So I'm just not sure what that is. All right, so my buddy just came over and he's saying that he thinks this is a Montana agate. Should have known it. That's crazy. <laughs> that didn't occur to me. But he has dug like three agate rings, rings before. I've never dug one, so. Anyways, super cool. Uh, the Montana agates are only in the Yellowstone River uh, basin, I think, so you can't even find them where I'm at. Also, there's a couple of days left in the giveaway for the Mine Lab Pinpointer, so jump on that video and sign up if you haven't signed up yet. All right, thanks for watching.